Locario. It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, guys, today I wanted to talk about rejection. And a lot of guys give rejection too much power, okay? Because the other day I made a video and I was talking about, you know, um, changing your story when you're out here talking to women, meaning changing the way you look at how you interact with girls and what actually you know, happens with you. So I'm talking about changing your story, meaning instead of saying, hey, girls don't like me and I'm a loser and all this stuff, you have to look at it and come at it from a mindset that girls actually do want you. Girls want to date you. Girls want to have sex with you and all this other stuff. Because when you change your story, you start to act different because of the way you think, right? So now when it comes to rejection, you also got to understand that rejection and how you feel about rejection is going to affect how you deal with women. You understand? It's going to affect your dating life. It's going to affect the amount of, you know, sex you're going to have. It's going to affect the amount of dates you're going to go on, all this other stuff, right? Because the thing is, a lot of guys don't understand that rejection is part of the process. You understand? When it, when a chick is not feeling you or whatever, it's part of the whole process of you actually getting to the woman who is going to feel you. So if you're saying to yourself, hey, you know, I'm the type of guy that can get a lot of women, you're thinking positively in that direction, right? In order for you to get the amount of women you want, you're going to have to go through rejection. See, the mistake a lot of guys are making is thinking that there's some way or some formula or some other shit that they can do to just get girls rejection free. You understand? They're like, oh, you know, I want, I want to date, you know, three or four girls at a time. And I want to get all three or four of these girls without ever getting rejected. It's like it doesn't work that way. In order for you to get the three or four girls, you're going to get rejected at some point, right? So the thing is, is that you got to understand that rejection is part of the process on your way to getting those girls, right? But the thing is, is that when guys get rejected or guys, you know, the chick isn't feeling them or whatever, they take it too personally. And then when you take it personally, it it sort of stops you from continuing to do what you need to do to get the girls that you want, to get the girls that's going to actually be cooperating. Because the thing is, you know, let's say, for example, you have, let's say you talk to 10 girls, right? Now, let's say the first five or six, they weren't feeling you, right? But the seventh and eighth girl was really feeling you, right? But now, let's say by the time you got to the fourth girl, you were you were tired of shit not going the way you wanted it to go. So then you quit, and then therefore you didn't get to the seventh or eighth girl that you would have got. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is why you need to understand that you need to keep going even though you are getting rejected. The thing is, a lot of you guys get rejected, and you say, oh, well, you know, this proves that girls doesn't like, that girls don't like me. And I'm like, dude, this is the process that you need to do and go through in order to get the girls, right? And see, also you got to change the way you look at rejection. See, rejection isn't even a bad thing. And also, what a lot of guys don't understand is that the girl is really just rejecting your game. Do you understand? She's rejecting. And what is the game? The game is the skill and the strategy that you're using to try to interact with her and make something happen, right? The thing is, she's not really rejecting you or who you really are because she doesn't know who you really are. You understand? Yeah, I just, you just approached her just now for like two minutes and started talking, right? So the thing is, and I, and I talk about this also in my um, audio program, The Ultimate Five-Step Guide to Getting Over Your Fear of Rejection. And you can get that at badboymembership.com. That program is freaking awesome. If you are scared of rejection and you're having issues with that, make sure you go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and get that right now all right but the thing is you know she's not really rejecting you she's rejecting your game you understand she's rejecting you know the way that you presented yourself at that moment you understand and the thing is if she's not feeling you or she's not feeling your game or she's not feeling the, the situation it is what it is the next girl and the next girl that you talk to those girls might be feeling it but again you have to go through a lot of girls in order to get the ones who are going to cooperate with you a lot. The thing is, you guys are scared to hear no. You're scared to, to uh, you know, to, to basically keep getting rejected. You understand? Like, there's times where I'd be out with my friends or whatever, and, you know, 
we talk to three or four girls before we get to one who's cooperating. You understand? And it, it's just part of the game. Like, you can't escape the shit, right? But the thing is, is that the girls who are feeling you, they are out there, right? The girls who are feeling you, they are out there. You just have to actually go out there and find them. You have to be persistent. And you can't make the rejections stop you from, you know, getting the girls that are going to cooperate with you because you have to keep going in order to up your chances to make that happen, right? See, let's say, let's say for example, um, I, I told you to go to the store and get me two tomatoes or something from the grocery store or the wherever, right? And you go to the store and they have the tomatoes laid out. And usually what you're going to do is you're going to look through the tomatoes to see which ones are, you know, that look good in order to get. Because some of them might be bad. Some of them might not be, you know, uh, ready to, to be picked or whatever it is, right? So let's say you're going through the tomatoes, right? And then you go through like one, you're like, nah, this one doesn't look good. This one looks spoiled. This one looks like it's, uh, you know... It's not not working. This one doesn't look good. I'm not getting this one. You're like, okay, this one looks good. Let me grab that one, right? And then you go through another. Okay, this one looks, doesn't look good. This one looks good. This other one doesn't look good. Then you go to the next one. Okay, that one looks good, right? So now you got your two tomatoes, right? But look how many tomatoes you had to go through in order to get those two tomatoes. You understand what I'm saying? It's the same fucking thing when you're dealing with women. It's the same goddamn thing. But the thing is, you guys are scared to go through that. I don't know why. I don't know why you keep making rejection, uh, you know, uh, fuck with your ego when you're taking it personally. And the thing is, a lot of times what happens is that you guys are so insecure that you take the rejection personally because you believe that you're not good enough to get with women. You believe that, oh, women don't like me, so you're scared to even try to approach the girl or get with her or, you know, say, hey, give me your number, let's go out because you're scared of hearing that no or you're scared of hearing, oh, you know, I'm not interested or whatever because you're scared of it sort of confirming that belief that you have about yourself that girls don't like you. And again, this is what I'm saying. You got to change your story, right? And you got to also change the way that you look at rejection, you got to change all of that because once you change that, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to, you know, be in a different mind state. And when you're in a different mind state, you're going to act different, differently when you're out here approaching women. It's going to be hard for you to keep getting girls and keep approaching women and making things happen if you are taking this rejection shit too personally. If you are making it mess with your mind, if you're making it mess with your self-esteem. You understand? So you got to look at it in a way where it's like, okay, well, you know what? Rejection is part of the game. In order for me to get the girls that I want, in order for me to get, you know, certain girls, I have to understand that this is what is going to go down. This is the process. You can't avoid it. You cannot. It's the same way where you have to crack the egg in order to get the, to make an omelet. It's that same thing. You can't avoid that shit. You understand? There's certain things that that, that happen within the process in order for things to go to go down. You understand? It's unavoidable. And the thing is, is that in order for you to make stuff happen, in order for you to have success, you have to come to terms with the fact that rejection is going to happen. You understand? And guys, make sure you go to badboymembership.com, get my audio program, Ultimate Five-Step Guide to Getting Over Your Fear of Rejection, because that's going to really help you out. If you have any questions, click the link below and holler at me and I will talk to you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. All right, now before you click off this video, I need you to do three quick things. First, I need you to click the link below to send me your questions, because if you have any questions, I'll answer them in a video. Two, click the link under that to get my free ebook, The Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men, gives you 10 tips on how to attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.